Welcome to Neo Cash Newscast, bringing you the latest cryptocurrency news from around the world wide web. Please be sure to click the subscribe button and be one of the first to receive cutting edge news. The markets are down. The downward trend has continued as markets have fallen across the board. Partly to blame is the fear, uncertainty, and doubt created when India's finance minister, Arun Jaitley, mentioned a Bitcoin crackdown in a speech. Emotional traders quickly started a sell-off at the mere idea that an Indian ban would soon follow. In a speech, the Indian minister commented how Bitcoin was not legal tender and that the government would be pursuing individuals who use digital currency for illicit activities. Much of the downturn can still be attributed to Bitfinex and Tether. News reports are finally putting the pieces together and asking if the price of Bitcoin SegWit has been propped up by Tether printing. More and more people are waking up to the fact that U.S. dollar Tether has some serious issues. One bit of trouble comes from the fact that exchanges dominate the U.S. Tether rich list and would be left holding the bags if they can't get the tokens exchanged for U.S. dollars. Media outlets like the New York Times are begging the question, is the price of Bitcoin SegWit propped up by Tether printing? A website called TetherReport.com has looked at market activities surrounding the issuance of Tethers and concluded that, quote, Tether printing moves the market appreciably. 48.8% of Bitcoin's price rise in the period studied occurred within two-hour periods of the arrival of 91 different Tether grants to the Bitfinex wallet. So what's next? It really is left in the hands of Bitfinex and Tether CEO Jan Ludovicus. Van der Velt. If Tether can come clean about the actual status of their banking accounts, there may be some graceful exit possible. Given that the Tether website and Twitter account have been silent since January 5th, it doesn't seem likely. Following the current trend, I expect that all the markets will continue to fall as Bitcoin SegWit sees prices drop down to the three or $4,000 range, and perhaps even lower. While that is doom and gloom talk to some people, it would bring the price of Bitcoin back down to earth and more rational levels. The Lightning Network has been anticlimactic as expected, and there may be many more months of development needed before it's ready for prime time. To clarify things for you, Bitcoin SegWit simply cannot be a store of value if the price does not keep rising. And the price seems to have been manipulated higher by Tether and Bitfinex. The curtain is coming down and bringing with it the most irrational value of Bitcoin SegWit, which, I may remind you, is the slowest and most expensive cryptocurrency for sending money. While this will cause some sadness in the overall marketplace, the sooner tethers are removed from the game, the better. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share these videos. For Neocash Newscast, I'm JJ. May the trades be ever in your favor. NeocashRadio.com. Thank you.